think it's important to uh, show this version of uh, Agamemnon, with, which we call Clytemnestra today, because it gives uh, um, multi layers on what this character uh, can be, but also it gives another vision on Agamemnon. Uh, Agamemnon not as the hero who fights for his country and who is a um, yeah he's doing it for his country and for the honor of his country and of his family but um, it's also if you see it in another way it's also uh, a guy who is very macho and imperialistic and um, I think uh, there is a kind of toxic um, a toxic um, way of being a man that uh, is 2,000 years ago was already like this and it's uh, today it is still like that. And I think we give a voice to Clytemnestra that she gets in, um, in dialogue with him to make him that clear. And it's also Clytemnestra not as the cliché of an hysteric woman who only takes revenge, but also who takes, who has her uh, reasons, uh, um, who have to do with how Agamemnon is. And it is not that she is to blame because um, that she is a bad woman and it's finished. Um, so I think this other... Um, to widen it up and to make it uh, a woman from the world who is a, 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 a mother, but also one, a person who is standing in the world and who is uh, seeing and who has her opinion about what is it a war, uh, what is it uh, to conquer countries and countries and countries. So I think you make of Pita um, Mestra also uh, a political, uh, She's also a political woman uh, who, um, who, who gets a voice to show that. Um, it's not because of betrayal and... Uh, no, she's a, a woman who stands with her two feet in the world, in the world of today and in the world of 2,000 years ago, I think.